Hey guys, I just picked up two of these Foxelli 14 megapixel game cameras on Amazon. They were right around 50 bucks on Prime, and the specifications on them are just crazy. Uh, like a half a second um, trigger speed, uh, 14 megapixel pictures, 1080p, um, I think 25 or 30 frames per second. I can't really remember off the top of my head, but the packaging is outstanding. And I'll show you in a minute, but this is a company that's like a small family-owned business, apparently. But they're uh, they're packaged really nice. Let's see. One of the things on the package that I thought was interesting was it says designed in the Netherlands, uh, made in China. So I'm not happy about it being made in China, but, you know, what is not made in China that's electronics nowadays? Um, I looked for American-made game cameras, and I really couldn't find them. So the package is really nice. It's a, uh, it's in a great little bag. Um, it just protects it a little more. And every I've already unboxed and set up my other camera, but um, every glass surface, of course, has the protective film on it. It's got one opening for the strap, and it's a, just a very simple way of working with it. One of the things that's interesting to me is um, you can run four batteries by themselves up there or you could have four batteries down here and that empty or you could run all eight batteries. I don't know why you would use four batteries, but you certainly could. Uh, very easy touch controls. You do have a color LCD so you can look at pictures or watch video. Um, just really nicely made actually. It's very surprising. And then inside of here you're going to get a little flashlight that runs by the way this runs on three AAA batteries um, but it's just strapped to this that says please help um, we're a small family run business and we can't exist without your Amazon feedback uh, I don't usually go do that but I am going to do this for this company because the product is really nice and uh, really well put together I mean I was really impressed for a $50 game camera this um. This really comes with a, you know, just a, a nylon braided strap. And then this, this strange little uh, kind of adjustable adapter. And then underneath is the manual and is this little adapter the screws are for and that this guy bolts to. Um, I'm not really sure. Maybe you could bolt this to the eaves of your house, perhaps. Um, there's three little screws in here that go into this and you could bolt it or screw it into some wood like on the eve of your house if you were wanting to shoot down and watch someone trespassing. Um, this little guy screws in right here. I normally screw in T-post adapters here or the adapters that screw into a tree trunk and then this little guy you take off the nut and it screws in that way. So all in all every bit of the material so far looks pretty quality and uh, the manuals I mean super simple. Uh, the camera is super simple and you've got lots of options on it I just wanted to do this in this controlled environment because I wanted to show you the big thing for me is I was not aware that it takes the micro SD cards and not the big SD cards and of course I have a billion big SD cards and very few micro SD cards but I found these 32 gig um, super fast Sandex Ultras or excuse me, SanDisk Ultras at Amazon for like seven bucks on Prime delivery. So I equipped them all with 32 gig cards and eight batteries in them. I'm gonna strap them, put them out tomorrow morning up at the ranch and we will pick up with the video and I'll actually show you on where I'm putting them on some of the trees and how I install them on the trees. All right guys, uh, keep your fingers crossed. I hope these cameras behave and perform as well as their specs say they will. But uh, it just a, looks like an amazing camera at a great price. All right, we'll catch you in the woods. All right, guys, uh, I wanted to show you this little new Fox Ellie game camera I got off Amazon for like 50 bucks. 14 megapixels, 1080p video. I took a test picture with my golden doodle in the backyard, just messing around, and uh, it was all right. It looked like, you know, when you do an HDR photo or when you do a photo that you've turned on automatic color enhancement and the greens are greener and all that, that's really what it looked like absolutely i mean good good detail but it it was kind of i thought over colored or colorized or whatever you call it 
but absolutely fine for a game camera. I mean, you know, it's 14 megapixel. It looked great compared to some of my cheaper cameras. I did not test the video feature because quite frankly, I don't care about video. We take all of our photos from all these cameras and we upload them into DeerLab.com, which is a great product. Uh, it's cheap and it's cloud-based. And then everybody just has the login and we all go and look and we can tell when deer are moving and look at photos and all that. So it's a great way to share information from your ranch. If you've never checked out DeerLab.com, check them out. Um, but this little guy, I really like it because check it out. It's got a setup mode down here. You go into setup mode pops up pretty nice super fast super responsive I apologize for the Sun I know you can't really see too well um, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it on and I'm setting it up you can see the little uh, it's hard to do that one-handed sorry about it sorry for that cut it's hard to get in there and close those things one-handed you can see the light I'll tell you what attracted me to this. I bought a Wild Game Innovations camera. I got two of them out here that it's either video mode, photo mode, date time, that's it, on and off. And they were like 50 bucks at Dick's. And uh, those guys are doing great out here. I mean, we'll see what some of the pictures look like, but those are really good little cameras. I love them because they're so simple. This guy, this guy's got some complexity. I just put a T-post in with the little HME post mount that I got on Amazon and then that little camera these guys are a small family-owned business too so I kind of like to support that it's also not a hundred percent Chinese which I'm, I was trying to find American made game cameras and the only ones I could find were Reconyx and those things are like five hundred eight hundred dollars a camera they're great cameras but I can't afford five or hundred or eight hundred dollar cameras times ten or fifteen but at fifty bucks a pop and it's an American made small business that distributes them they're designed in Malaysia and then they're assembled in China. So that was kind of the, the attempt I had at trying to find the best American made product I could find. The specs on this are really cool. Uh, it's like an 80 foot range. It's a half second or faster delay. Um, it may be a quarter of a second, but it's a 120 degree lens on it. So that means, you know, we'll be able to catch the deer, you know, all across like this. It's not 180, but you know, instead of just like the 90 degree, it, it extends over here and it extends over here and with a fast trigger speed we'll catch them a lot better i'm hoping so there you go